So in this video, we're going to estimate how much space is needed to store YouTube videos. Now, while doing capacity estimation, keep in mind that it's a very small part of the system design interview. In fact, generally, we recommend you spend as less time as possible on capacity estimation because it really distracts you from the actual part of the interview, which is system design. So we have a three-step approach for doing capacity estimation. The first step is defining your metric. The second step is defining assumptions in your system. And the third step is doing the calculation. So here, what's the metric we're looking for? The metric we're looking for is how much space is needed to store the video and just the video, right? We're not taking into account any metadata like user profiles or any meta metadata of the video itself. So this is the metric we need. Now, a good starting point in these problems is to start with the number of users. So we start with assumptions, and uh, the first assumption that's really useful is the number of users. So let's assume that we have 1 million users. Now, this is a very conservative assumption. Your interviewer can ask you to define more users, right? So, but right now we're assuming 1 million. You could just scale it up pretty easily. Now, we're trying to estimate from this how many videos will be in our system. And a good way to do that is to define how many of these users will be video uploaded. Okay, so let's say that out of a thousand users, let's say one out of thousand users are uploaders a reasonable assumption. You can just assume a reasonable number and clarify to the interviewer that you're just assuming this number, the real number might be something else. Now, one more thing to clarify is in what time period is the storage space? So a good way to do this is to have storage space per day. So you can assume one day as the time period. And so you can estimate how many people will upload videos per day. These are our assumptions. Now, using this, you can calculate how many people will be uploaders, right? Which is just 1 million divided by 1,000. So you have 1,000 uploaders in our system. So let's assume that on average, an uploader uploads one video in two days. Now, this means that on average, we have 1,000 uploaders. We'll see 1,000 divided by 2, which is 500 videos per day. So we're making some progress here. We've identified that 500 videos will be uploaded per day in our system. Now, the next step is to figure out how much storage each video needs. So let's make the assumption that the average video size is five minutes. Okay, this is the average size. And let's assume that this ends up being 200 megabytes. Right? This is just an assumption. The real numbers could be very different. The goal here is not to assume accurate numbers, but to show your thought process that you can actually calculate these things. Okay, so now we can calculate for 500 videos a day, it'll take you now 200 megabytes times five is one gigabytes. So it will take you 100 gigabytes per day to store these videos. Okay, so this is our number our metric that we were looking for. So you saw how we went through this process systematically. We defined the metric. We have assumptions here. So all our assumptions were over here. And we did calculations according to these assumptions. 